Hello, and welcome to this week's edition of You News, where you get You News. Bippity boppity boo, our top story tonight could affect even you. A story released by Cointelegraph advises that using the words not financial advice will not keep you out of jail when shilling a project. It's almost as if those are not magic words you can utter before doing irreparable damage and recommending a scam. The term will not protect influencers from the law either, as federal and state securities laws heavily regulate who can offer investment advice. Crypto influencer Mason vs. Lewis, aka Crypto Mason, who has over a million followers on TikTok, weighed in with his defense. He said that it's hard for influencers to know more about a project they shill because they are just dealing with the marketing team. So let me get this straight. The people being paid to shill you things are saying, do your own research, NFA, DYOR, but they won't even bother to do their own research by speaking with the dev team. JFC, I mean WTF, if you can't DYOR before you LMK about tokens and NFTs, then W-H-Y-T-H-E-F-U-C-K are you recommending them to over a million people? Whatever. In my world, NFA doesn't stand for not financial advice. It stands for not fucking around, and it makes every shill tweet sound aggressively awesome. Next up, MakerDAO's co-founder was reported to have died by drowning last week in Puerto Rico. Not long after issuing this tweet where he alleges a blackmailing incident by his ex-girlfriend, who he says was a spy, working with CIA, Mossad, and a pedophile elite sex trafficking ring. Oh boy. Forget saying Bloody Mary three times into a mirror, just say those three things together on social media and you'll go out like John McAfee. There is no actual news to report about this story beyond speculation, but I'm just glad this didn't come after a Discord message immediately after he sold out an NFT collection, just like that guy two weeks ago. Moving over to fiat land, Jerome Powell and the Federal Reserve raised interest rates by 75 basis points on Wednesday and sank the stock market over 3% following this announcement. There was some BS about needing to keep inflation high, you know, because they printed too much money in 2020 and are continuing to print money in something they call the Inflation Reduction Act. But before this, I didn't realize that the Fed doesn't use terms like bullish or bearish to describe sentiment. They use the terms dovish and hawkish. It is interesting to point out that through all of this centralized turmoil, Bitcoin's price has traded sideways and stayed fairly stable, proving that it is neither a dove nor a hawk, but an American bald eagle because it's free as f from all this centralization. America. Over in the meta minus the verse, Facebook meta announced Wednesday it will use Polygon to turn Instagram into a digital marketplace of NFTs, allowing users to own their Instagram pictures and videos and turn them into digital collectibles to be bought and sold as non-fungible tokens using Matic. Okay, this is the best idea I've ever heard to bring women into Web3. And not because women like Instagram, no. Forget your man liking another girl's picture. The investigative detail that's going to be launched by women learning how to use blockchain receipts to prove that their man minted another chick's photo? Can you imagine the new level of psycho that is about to ensue? I have a friend who can find people's last three known addresses and like two distant DNA relatives in 20 minutes. But if I gave her immutable blockchain receipts and social media, this is a new level of women's investigative skills I cannot wait to see. I'm here for it. Our last story tonight is just so unnecessary. A German company named Holoride proudly announced the launch of VR games in cars. The idea is to turn cars into theme parks by letting people play games via the VR headset that leverages motion data for the vehicle with their content. So basically the visuals move as the car moves. Damn y'all, is inflation so bad we can't even just go to a theme park anymore? Or is this just for the horrible backseat drivers in our lives so they'll shut up and sit there quietly? Okay, for, look at this picture. Can you imagine pulling up next to someone whose passengers look like this? I was most worried that nowhere on the article did it specify that the driver was not supposed to use this. You know, because I'm in America and we have to put warnings like do not ingest on cleaning products, but whatever, if you have $700 in an Audi and you would rather wear a VR headset in the car than look at the planet Earth around you, then head over to shop.holoride.com. Not sponsored. That's all for this week's edition of You News, where you get totally unnecessary, useless news. I'm Tupac's, of course, and I'll see you next week.